Hi everyone, welcome to Spice and Pens. If you like our channel, please hit subscribe and thank you for watching. Welcome back to how to make a clay pot fish head dish. Over here we have the ingredients um, to making this dish. So let me introduce them to you. A grouper head. Um, of course you can use any kind of um, fish head if you want to. It can be angoli, red snapper, etc. etc. depending on what's available in the market. We have also over here a piece of the roaster pork which is needed to bring out the taste of the dish. Some of the other ingredients over here. Two thumb sized knobs of ginger, young ginger. One whole clove of garlic, three small red onion, two eggs. We love veggie a lot, so what we are going to use is half a um, cabbage itself. But if you don't want, you can just use a quarter of it or half of half of what we have over here. You can either choose to use fresh shiitake mushroom or you can use the dried Chinese mushroom. Up to you. Okay. Some of the ingredients that will be added on, we will have sugar, pepper. La to panjang or spicy bean paste. Okay. Bean paste. Um, flour. Over here I use rice flour, but you can use um, all purpose flour. I have this yang la jiang, which is basically a hot chili sauce. I'm using over here also um, pork stock powder, but of course, if you can't get this in Singapore, of course, you can use either chicken stock powder or anchovies, it's up to you. Oyster sauce. Hua tiao wine or Chinese yellow wine and soy sauce first off we need to marinate the fish head so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to grate a piece of the thumb size um, ginger over here so this is how it looks like grated ready so what we need to do is just squeeze the juice out over the fish head. I'll start with the inside of the fish first because this is where all the blood lies. Alright, just drizzle it over. This is to actually take, get rid of the fishy smell and of course to impart a fragrance ginger taste to the fish head itself. Okay. Okay, we'll keep this aside. Next, we'll add on the basic ingredient which will be pepper. Up it all over the fish head itself. And soy sauce. I got this soy sauce from Cambodia, but you can get it, um, I mean, get any soy sauce of your own liking itself. This soy sauce is not very salty, so I'm going to use slightly more than the usual itself, but of course, um, it's all to taste itself. I'm using about approximately about one and a half teaspoons of it. Because later you'll be soaking the sauce, which will be um, salty on its own also. Finally, I'm going to add in some hua tiao jiu or Chinese yellow wine, cooking wine. I'm just going to use half a cup full of this. This also to help to get rid of the uh, fishy smell also, and also to impart a very nice fragrant um, wine taste to the fish head itself. Also rub it all over the fish. Okay, now this is done. We just leave it aside and let it rest and soak in the marinade while we prepare the rest of the ingredient. Seasoning. Okay, we need to cut all this up for the fragrance part itself. So uh, let me start off with the garlic. Took off everything. Just give it a tap and then you can easily remove the skin of the garlic. All the garlic, be careful of your hand. So this is how it looks like the minced garlic. Okay, next I'm going to 
slice the ginger. Um, I like to do it the easy way. It's a bit wasteful, but uh, this is normally how I like to do it. So what I do is I cut off one, one part of it, straight the other part, make sure it's straight, and slice off part of it here too, and here too. And all this I'll discard. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just thinly slice this. like the sliced ginger. Next I'm going to prepare the onions. Okay I'll just do one of them to show it to you. Cut off the head part first. Bottle the onion. Carry of the skin. Okay and then we slice them. First this is the whole onion. What we do is we cut half. Okay. Then we just slice it. Oh, a cup full of the onion. Um, if you like the taste of more onion, you can actually add more if you want to. But for ourselves over here, I think this is enough for us. So next we will prepare the vegetables, which is the cabbage and the mushroom. Okay, let me just cut this all out. Now how do we do this? It's very simple, just uh, break off the stem first. Okay, while well, the mushroom. Just twist it and it will come out easily. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm not going to cut them too small because I like the taste of the full mushroom taste. So I'm just going to quarter them. Of course, um, with regards to mushroom, you can use any mushroom that you like, be it shiitake, butter mushroom, or even those inoki mushroom. You can use any of the mushroom which is to your liking. Next, we do the veg. Now, um, this is a lot of veg actually for this. Uh, normally, we just, um, if you were to eat outside, you just use about three or four leaves of this. But um, my wife loves cabbage, so I'm going to use the whole half the cabbage itself. So I'm just going to cut off the tail part. This part I'm going to use. And I'm just going to cut them into sort of like two finger size, which is like this. Now um, we will be washing this, so don't worry. Okay, so what we do next is we get the basin. All right, just dump everything in. We'll add water inside here. And while the water is um, coming in, I would suggest actually to add in about maybe one or two teaspoons of the salt. This to cleanse it better. You need to do this about two or three times uh, just to clean off the, the leaves of a uh, read out if there's any pesticide or sands or any dirt particles inside here. You just use a strainer to strain this. the shiitake mushroom which I cut off just now. Um, you don't soak this in water because it will absorb all the water. So what you do is just uh, do a fast rinse itself to rinse it out of any dirt or soil inside here and we are about done. Okay, I forgot to introduce you just now to the egg tofu which I love to add to this dish because uh, this is very nice and it's one of my favorite or so. Um, we just need to cut this up. A piece of this um, normally cut about into six pieces. There's a line over here you will just see, right? So what we do is we cut it over here, okay? Just squeeze the thing out. Okay, next I'm going to cut the roasted pork over here, right? Just a thin slice with it. Knitting for about 20 minutes. So what I do is I just take this out. Put it back on the chopping block. Okay. What I need to do is I need to dust it with flour right now because I'm going to deep fry this later. Like what I said just now, you can use all purpose flour, but for me over here, I'm using rice flour because that's what I have is actually inside my cabinet. So, now 
there's a few reasons why we are doing this. One of these is, of course, to make the fish head crispy when we do it, when we cook it. Then the other one is to prevent it from splattering when you deep fry this. And dust off any excess um, flour and we leave this aside. Right, now I'm trying, um, I will start cooking the ingredients for the clay pot fish head. Um, first you heat up a wok of oil. Um, this is this will be used to fry the egg tofu and of course the fish head also. Make sure it's really hot. One way to find out whether it's hot or not is to use a bamboo chopstick and you put it down. If you can see the bubble rising, that means it's hot enough already. Right? Right, you can see the bubble rising over here. Okay, that means the oil is hot enough to do deep frying already. Okay, I'll make sure when you put the tofu in itself as there's not so much of the water so that it won't splatter too much or so. And don't throw it in like just slightly. It has to be high. For deep frying, definitely it has to be high. Because once you put all the ingredients in, or the tofu in, the oil will cool off a little bit. So in this first part, first three minutes itself, we don't go and spare it. We don't want to break off the tofu. So we just let it sit for a while until it firms up. So I'm going to stir this around and make sure that all side of the tofu is being fried. This will take approximately about perhaps 78 minutes depending on your the power of your stove or the fire level itself or the heat of the oil. Now for all those uh, health conscious uh, folks out there who want to oil, deep oil, deep fry their food, um, you can use uh, buy those um, standard tau kua outside um, or solid bean curd itself. Cut them into smaller pieces, either air fry them or bake them. Okay, but not the egg tofu because the egg tofu will be too soft for air frying. I've never tried it before, so that's my guess actually. Okay, so um, how do we tell if it's done already or not? So we just uh, push it up a little bit, and you can see that part of it is already golden brown. It's almost done. So the, the reason why we're doing this is we want to firm up this egg tofu, so later when we cook it that time, it won't actually uh, break apart easily. So we scoop this up into a strainer. fry the fish head itself uh, make sure that the oil is hot it has to be hot otherwise the skin uh, might just stick to the pan itself so always fry the fish first with the skin down be very careful when you do this let it fry for about approximately per side six to seven minutes Now we'll see whether the part, the skin part is done or not. So what we try to do is just turn it up a little bit and yes. So we fry the other side for approximately about another seven minutes to eight minutes. Now how do you tell if a fish is done already or not? You look at the eyeball itself. If it's done, it will pop up. So right now we can still see a little bit of radish around the area, which means it's only semi-cooked. But we're going to fry this part again after we crisp this part up, the, the underneath part itself. So this is the step. Now I'm going to do I'm going to flip it back again to really cook up this part itself. Now this will take about another about two to three minutes or four minutes itself. So now we're going to check whether the fish is done or not. So like what I explained just now, the best part is to just have a look at the eyeball. Right, as you can see, it's popping up already. So basically, it's done already. But if you want it to be crispier, you can just uh, fry it for a little bit more. Now the fish is almost done. So we are going to drain this out of the oil. Um, for those people who are health conscious, um, if you don't feel like 
deep frying your fish head, you can also coat it with flour and just bake it. Oil that's already heated, and we leave about approximately about one tablespoon of oil inside there, so that we can start making the stock for the fish head. Okay, with this we will fry ginger slices. Fire don't turn it up too high, otherwise you will turn black very easily or burnt. So just have to separate them out. And just uh, stir them around. You want to have this nice um, aromatic coming out from the ginger itself. Once they are starting to brown, next add in the garlic. Stir fry them around for approximately about 10 seconds or so and you add the onions. Fry them around until the onion is a little bit uh, translucent as you can see from here. And then we add in the various different spices. First we add in the la to ban jiang, which is the spicy bean paste. About Spoonful. I like my dish with a little bit spicy, so what I'm going to add is this xiang la jiang. Approximately about one of this, one spoonful of this. To create more aromatic, I'm going to add about half a spoonful of the tao chiu over here. And to give it a little bit more of a seafood taste, I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of this oyster sauce. I'm going to fry them around. You can get a very nice uh, aromatic coming out from these mixture stuff. Okay. Fry them for a few seconds and then you add water. Okay. I'm going to add in about one and a half litre of uh, water or approximately about six cups of them. Let's just give this a stir. And then we, we add in the cabbage that was washed earlier on. Normally I'll cook all this actually in a clay pot like this but today because of the sheer amount of cabbage that my wife wanted to eat I have to cook it in the pot and later transfer whatever that I cook inside this clay pot itself. So let's start off by putting all the veg inside here. And also the mushrooms. The roasted pork of them all in and of course the egg tofu that we deep fried just now so all these are put inside there to infuse more flavor into the stock itself so we just stir everything in and just wait for it to boil again okay. okay now that this is boiling already uh, make sure you test for saltiness whether the is it too salty or less salty? I think we can add in a little bit more of the soy sauce approximately about one tablespoon okay. If you want your sauce to have a slightly deeper colour what you do is you just add dark soy sauce into it about one tablespoon too Now normally I would cook all this inside a clay pot but like what I said earlier on, because of the sheer amount of uh, veggie that I'm using over here, I have to use it inside this big pan that I'm using right now. Now I'm going to prepare a starch solution. This to thicken the sauce over here. So I'm using about approximately about three table, uh, three teaspoon of the um, tapioca flour with approximately about the same amount of the water over here. Give it a good stir. Now while this is boiling, slowly pour this in. Don't pour everything in first. See the consistency of the of the liquid itself. Still too watery, just add some more in. Now we don't want to make this too thick because as you have seen earlier, 
our fish we have fried it with flour and that will also thicken up the stock later when we boil it together with the with the fish head now almost everything is done remember the sugar i like to add sugar at the end of the of the of everything itself because once you add the starch uh, powder it will actually dilute the taste a little bit so um, i don't want it to be too sweet so i'm just going to add in approximately about two teaspoons of sugar give it a stir again pepper to taste to finish off what i normally like to do is i would like to put in some Chinese cooking wine enhance the aroma of the dish approximately about one and a half cap full final taste Wonderful. Now, I'm going to put everything in this clay pot that I have over here. Remember the fish head that we had earlier on? I'm going to just put the whole fish head inside here. And I'm going to take the sauce off from here and pour it over here. Just off the fire first. Be careful, of course, it's going to be very, very hot. So I've done this step, I'm going to turn the fire back on and wait for this to boil. Make sure you cover this up. So I will see the steam coming up from the ventilation hole over here. That means this dish is almost done already. So we just open this up. As you can see, it's boiling. What we do is we we'll crack the egg over it. and stir it in. What I like to do after this is to actually garnish it with a little bit of a spring onion on top. As well as coriander leaf. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is your clay pot fish head we're going to have our lunch now so we're going to tuck if in you some. like what you're watching do click on like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching